Welcome to Clemson University. My name is Glenn Sperlin and I serve as the Director of Student Transitions within the Center for Student Leadership and Engagement. And it is my honor to welcome you to day one of New Student Orientation as part of Clemson University's 2021 Welcome Week. It is our goal over the next several days that you'll find a connection while you're here, a connection to campus, a connection to our wonderful faculty and staff that you will meet, and of course, a connection to each other. We have a wonderful program for you this morning, and we're gonna begin with New Student Convocation, our official start to the academic year. So to kick things off, please help me welcome Senior Associate Provost, Dr. John Griffin. Good morning. Please let me have the privilege to also welcome you to Clemson University. You will hear from many and others on this stage today that this is a special place, and I agree. Not only is it a beautiful campus and a great community, but I believe we have the best faculty and staff on any campus, and they are here for you. Today, with this convocation welcome, from your new student, your student leaders, and from our academic uh, leadership as well, we mark the start of your career as a Clemson student. Your instructors will challenge you. They will ask you to read assignments and then think beyond what is written in your textbooks. You will find yourself engaged in discussions about problems that seem to have no answers. And as a group, ideas that can change the world will form. You can and will change the world. Just last week, more than 700 students who sat not too many years ago right where you are now walked across this stage and became Clemson alumni. I look forward to all you will do as you join our community and to see all the things that you will do on your way to becoming Clemson graduates. But today is about starting your Clemson journey. Our first speaker is a student I have come to know and admire. Ashley has already proven herself as a leader, and I know she will be one of your biggest fans and supporters. Please welcome to the podium, Ashley McCollum. Good morning, everyone. As Provost Griffin mentioned, my name is Ashley McCollum, and I am a sophomore biological sciences major with an American Sign Language minor from Spartanburg, South Carolina. I want to, <laughs> I want to welcome each and every one of you to this special place, Clemson University. Completing my freshman year last year has taught me a lot about myself as a student as well as an individual. Last year, I was a part of Freshman Council. Freshman Council is a branch of Clemson University Student Government, also known as CUSG, that consists of 35 members from the existing freshman class. Within Freshman Council, you represent your freshman class as, as a student leader guided by two upperclassmen mentors. You are exposed to the many factors such as the history of Clemson, faculty and staff, leadership skills, special events, and creating lifelong bonds with the people who are a part of Freshman Council. Later on, you will hear from Zeke, who was also a part of Freshman Council with me. I'm so grateful for Freshman Council for introducing me to my go-to person for all types of advice, the biggest hype man, and most of all, my best friend. I'd like to quickly share some nuggets of advice that may help you succeed at Clemson. First, I encourage you to take this opportunity to connect with individuals who have different cultural backgrounds and languages. With students from all across the country and even around the world, it's important to take the time to meet individuals different from your personal beliefs. Despite our differences, know that we all share one thing in common which is attending Clemson University. You will be surprised of how similar you truly are, which could lead to lifelong friendships. Next, I remember being told when I first got to Clemson that you get out what you put in. Even though this word of advice has been shared numerous times, 
I've come to find out that this advice is really true. With endless amount of helpful outlets and fun opportunities at Clemson, take advantage of these moments and be responsible for yourself as well as those around you. Finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. As a student, it can definitely be overwhelming to do this, but I encourage you to take the initiative and seek answers to whatever you are unsure about. It's okay to ask questions and ask for help because we all have questions. Don't worry about asking the right or wrong question. Having your questions answered is an essential part of what it takes to be a better student. Plus, you're most likely not the only one with that question, so it's okay. Know that we are all here for you, to support you, and that Clemson has so many resources available to you. If you need my help, don't hesitate to wave me down and speak to me. I'll most likely be on my scooter around campus, so don't be, away, don't be afraid to wave at me. Now, I have the honor of introducing our next speaker someone you will all come to know and appreciate his passion and leadership of this great university. Please welcome the president of Clemson University, Dr. Jim Clements. Thank you, Ashley, uh, and I loved your comments. In fact, I'm gonna reinforce some of the great things you said. Well, good morning, go Tigers. Come on, good morning, go Tigers. All right, I'm so excited to be with you today, and I'm honored to welcome you to the 2021 New Student Convocation, and officially welcome to the Clemson family. We are delighted that you decided to join this great university, and I'm thrilled that you are here, and I know that you are going to love it at Clemson. Your journey as a Clemson student really begins right here and right now. And from everything I've heard about you, you are an amazing and very talented group. And you are our biggest freshman class ever. I want you to know that you will have a lot of people at the university who are pulling for you to succeed. Our faculty, our staff, our students, and our administrators believe in you. We believe that you can and will join our strong legacy of outstanding graduates. And we will do everything we can to help you. But you have to help yourself. And you have to work hard. So like Ashley did, I'm going to share with you a couple little simple tips that are simple, but I want you to think about them. Number one, remember why you were here. Remember why you were here. You're here to get a world-class education from a top-notch university. So go to class. Seriously, go to class. Take your classes seriously. I was the first generation college graduate in my family. My parents didn't have the financial resources to attend college, but they taught me and my three older siblings that education was the key to a better life, not just for an individual, but for society as a whole. And that is why you were here. So take it seriously and never, ever take education for granted. Number two, get to know your professors. They're awesome. They are here for you. They care about you, and they want you to learn. Number three, and I love that Ashley said this, if you need help, ask for it. We have a lot of people here to help you, but unfortunately, a lot of people are afraid to ask for help, are too embarrassed to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. And we all need it at different times in our lives. So remember, we're here for you. We're absolutely here for you. Number four, read your emails from the university. They actually can contain, I know you get a lot of them, but they contain important information. And for updates, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have the same name on both, at Clemson Prez, P-R-E-Z. And I'll post a lot of pictures from the events this week, so you might find yourself on my Instagram. Number five, get involved. Get involved with activities on the campus. We have a lot of great things to do and great ways to get connected. 
So studies actually show the more connected you are and the more involved you are, the more successful you will be and the happier you will be. Number six, this is important. And again, Ashley, I'm gonna reinforce what you said. Seek out opportunities to get to know people from different backgrounds, different races, different nationalities. You will live and work in a global multicultural world. Your education and your lives will be enriched by a diverse set of views, experiences, and interactions. This next piece is important. If someone visits the campus and presents a point of view that differs from yours, please listen respectfully. Give them a chance to talk. You don't have to agree with their message, but please show them respect. They are our guest. Number seven, manage your time wisely. Make sure you schedule study time, schedule time to study, and schedule time to have a little bit of fun. And it's okay to have a little bit of fun. But again, remember why you are here. So please balance your fun time with your work time and any other obligations that you have. And please remember to stay in touch with your parents and your family members back home. I'm sure they miss you already. Also want to encourage you to do everything you can to take care of yourself and to take care of each other as we work through this COVID pandemic. We're all not going to agree on the strategies but if you would, please wear a mask when you need one. Please consider getting vaccinated if you can. Wash your hands, and if you're sick, get tested and stay home. You graduated from high school during COVID, so you're well aware of the challenges that it presents. But we're counting on you to do your part so we have a safe and successful semester. So this next story is true. When I was a freshman in college, on my very first day, one of my professors said to my class, look at the person on your left and then look at the person on your right. Please go ahead and do it. Go ahead and look at the person on your left and look at the person on the right. Yes, you are a beautiful group. Unfortunately, when I was a freshman, after my professor said to do that, he told us, he said, one of you won't be here next year. True story. I didn't like that message. I thought that was a terrible message. So my message to you today is very, very different. I'm going to ask you again to look at that fine person on your left. Go ahead and look at that fine person on your right. Now I want you to do me a favor. Please do everything you can to help that person succeed. Because I want all of you, every single one. Go ahead, I got to clap on that, all right. I want every single one of you, everyone, 100% to be successful. And I want you to graduate. And we care about each and every one of you. I don't want to lose a third of you. I don't want to lose any of you. I want you all to graduate. So I want to make a deal with you right, right now. You willing to make a deal with me? You willing to make a deal? Yeah. All right. All right, here's what I want you to do. Stand up. Stretch your legs. You've been sitting. Stand up. Feels good? All right, I want you to look me in the eyes, all of you. Look me in the eyes. Okay, so let's agree. You're not going to quit. You're not going to give up when times get tough. You're not going to transfer. <laughs> you are going to study hard, and you will finish your degree. Do we have a deal? If we do, shake your head. All right, come on. Do we have a deal? I'm looking in the back. All right. All right, we have a deal. All right, we have a deal. All right, go ahead and take a seat. Now, here's a little secret, though. It's a deal between us that we know. You just made a deal with me. But it's also a deal you have with yourself. 
It's a deal you have with yourself. You just made a deal with yourself as well. You have to work hard and you have to make it happen. I want to sign your diploma and I want to shake your hand right here at graduation. So please don't let me down, okay? Don't let me down and don't let yourself down. The world needs you. The world needs each and every one of you. Each of you have been given great talents, special talents, unique talents, but the world needs you. The world needs good teachers, good artists, good scientists, good engineers, good healthcare workers, good business leaders, good farmers, and so much more. We need you, okay? And also to be successful in life, it takes teamwork. It takes teamwork. You can't do it all by yourself. So once again, I ask you, reach out, help each other, be here for each other, support each other through the good times and the hard times. Help each other adjust to being in a new town. And if you see a student who seems stressed out, lonely, sad, or homesick, help them out. Be there for him or her. This is your new home, and I'm confident that you will love it here as much as I do. And I think you'll discover that the Clemson family is something very real and very special and very powerful. So on Fridays, wear your orange with great pride. And when you wear the tiger paw, know that it will be recognized wherever you go around the world. Value of the tiger paw has never been higher, ever. And as you study here at this great university, please help us carry on a tradition of excellence that is more than 130 years old. So I want you to do one more thing for me. I want you to close your eyes for a minute. Seriously, close your eyes. Don't fall asleep on me, but close your eyes. And I want you to picture yourself wearing your cap and gown on graduation day and your family cheering for you as you walk across this stage and I shake your hand. And I want you to see it. I want you to see it so clearly in your mind. And I want you to lock into that image and not let it go because that is your future. Now I want you to open your eyes. I want you to work hard every day to make that vision a reality, okay? You got this, you can do this. I wanna shake your hand literally right here. So please work hard, please make us proud, and use your life to make a difference. Good luck to all of you and go Tigers. It's now my pleasure to introduce my dear friend and colleague, Executive Vice President, Provost, and our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Bob Jones. Would you please help me welcome him to the podium? Thank you, President Clemens. It's been a joy and pleasure to work with you for many years at West Virginia University and especially here at Clemson University. Good morning, I am Bob Jones, I'm Clemson's uh, provost, and I'm a class of 1979. And one of the best parts of my job as a university's provost is to welcome new students to my alma mater. That's because I'm so proud of the excellent education that I received here, both as an undergraduate as, and as a graduate student, and because I know our outstanding faculty today will ensure that your experience will be even better than mine was. I'm confident you will be inspired as well as educated by your interactions with our faculty. In fact, they inspired me so much, I decided I wanted to be a faculty member. And then I reached my ultimate dream. I came back to Clemson University to work and give back to the institution that did so much for me. I know all of you will have similar experiences in your own way. I'd like to ask you to do me a favor now. Will all of you who are aspiring to be a healthcare professional, a nurse, a doctor, a psychologist, a veter veterinarian, or any related health professions, and any of you who have family members in the health professions, please stand. Please stand. Yeah, let's thank all these individuals. It's fantastic. Okay, thank you. You and your family members 
are the frontline defense against the global pandemic and the health challenges of our future. There's nothing more noble in life than that. I know my mother was a nurse, and I watched the powerful influence she had on people's lives. You're entering critical professions. All of you aspiring to do other things at Clemson will make similar impacts in the future. I'm confident of that. When I attended Clemson, I learned two important things. One has been mentioned multiple times today. First and foremost, and this is absolutely true, our faculty really care about students. They transformed my life, and I'm sure you'll have the same experience, no question. But second, as the President said, the Clemson community is very special. It feels like a family. And you know what? Family members watch out for each other. And that is why I'm going to emphasize something that he said. I'm asking you, as members of our special community, of the Clemson family, to do your part to protect the health of others in our family. We got a COVID spike right now. Please wear masks when you are indoors, and please get vaccinated. Clemson Tigers protect each other. I'm very excited about the journey you're about to go on, and I wish you all the very, very best. And at this time, I'd like to welcome Zeke Gaskins to the podium. Thank you. Good morning, fellow Tigers. My name is Zeke Gaskins, and I, like Ashley, am also a member of the Class of 2024 and last year's Freshman Council. First of all, I want to personally welcome you to Clemson University. It truly is an honor to share this campus with you, and I cannot wait to see where your Clemson journey takes you over the next four years. Right now, you are sitting at the forefront of one of the most exciting and influential times in your life. During your time at Clemson, you will experience a community like never before. I want you to take a second, look around you. Go ahead, do it. All right, the people sitting in this room will be your friends, your lab partners, your future business partners, and who knows, your future spouse may even be sitting right beside you. <laughs> yeah, crazy to think about, right? These people will be your best source of support as you begin your journey at Clemson. Do not hesitate to make a new friend. I promise you, they want to get to know you just as much as you want to get to know them. You are all here because you want to be the doers of the next generation. I urge you to make this happen by meeting new people, tapping into new resources, and getting out of your comfort zone. College is the best time to do this, and I know the benefits will follow you forever. I have never been more excited about the future of Clemson, and I cannot wait to see all the great things that this class does. This is your university, and you have the right to dream big. You have the right to make those dreams come true. You have the right to speak up for what you believe in, and you have the right to enjoy yourself. This is a time for you to learn and grow, but this is also a time for you to have fun and realize that you have the opportunity to create your own path. Never again will you have this many once-in-a-lifetime opportunities laid out in front of you. So don't waste it. After all, you only have a short time here, and it will be over before you know it. Clemson University gives you everything that you need to succeed. All the tools are there, but it's up to you to build your road to success. However, there is no straight path to success. Much like Clemson's campus, your Clemson journey will be full of highs and lows. During these times, it's important that you stay true to yourself and remind yourself of why you are here at Clemson. You know, when I was asked to give this speech, I sat down to reflect on what has made my Clemson journey so far a success, and I came up with three pieces of advice that I attribute most of my success to. So here they are. I guess you could call them Zeke's three rules to college. Number one, be intentional. Whatever you do in life, it's important to be clear and upfront about what you want to achieve. In the classroom, it's important that you keep in mind the specific outcome that you want to accomplish. However, this not only applies to your academic success, but also your social success. 
have meaningful conversations with others. Make it your challenge to get to know others and share your knowledge and skills. So today, I challenge you to intentionally make a new friend, whether that be a classmate, a hallmate, or a random person in the dining hall, sit down and have an intentional conversation and form an intentional relationship. As I said, they want to get to know you just as much as you want to get to know them. Number two, if it costs you your peace, it's too expensive. Don't sweat the small stuff. There is no reason to get worked up about something that you can let go of. College is an exciting time filled with so much potential. Find what is important to you and pursue it. Number three, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. College is the best time to discover yourself. So I urge you to step on the edge. Get a little uncomfortable because there is no greatness without discomfort. If you had told me a year ago that I'd be up here speaking in front of thousands of people, I would have told you that you were absolutely crazy. So say yes often, even if it is a little uncomfortable. You never know, you too could find yourself sitting up here next year. So there they are. Those are Zeke's three rules to college. Do with it what you want, but remember, you are in charge of building your own path, and I cannot wait to see where it takes you. Again, welcome to the Clemson Family Class of 2025, and as always, go Tigers. I would next like to welcome Taylor Rogers to the podium. Taylor is a junior or a senior uh, management major that serves as CUSG's Senate president. She will be sharing her role in student government and how you can get involved. Taylor Rogers. Class of 2025, it is incredible to look around this arena and see thousands of y'all being able to sit right next to each other. My name is Taylor Rogers and it is an honor and a privilege to serve as the undergraduate student senate president. As a freshman from McKinney, Texas, I didn't know a single person coming to Clemson. Although I was super nervous being from out of state, I knew the best way to make the most out of my Clemson experience was to dive head first into all the opportunities it has to offer. I'm sure you've got, already gotten the advice, a lot from these people, to go to your classes, to study for your exams, and to stay organized, and to use Google Calendar, it's a savior, but which, which is all good advice, but the best advice I can give you isn't about your academics here. This place is special because there is so much more than getting your diploma. It's special because of the Clemson family. The best advice I can give you is to find the people, the places, and the organizations that will make this place your second home. You will make new friends, develop new passions, create new memories, and ultimately have an entirely new family here at Clemson. The Clemson undergraduate student government has become a big part of my Clemson family and a piece of what makes this place so special to me. Through this organization, I have met some of the most involved people with passions all over campus. But what truly brings us all together is our love for this special place. CUSG is an organization for everyone because there are so many different areas to get plugged in. You could be a part of a committee under the executive branch, make legislative, legislative changes on campus as a senator, or interpret the code of conduct as a member of the judicial branch. As a freshman, freshman council and senate are two unique ways to meet new friends and develop your leadership skills right away. I truly encourage each and every one of y'all to get involved in one of these organizations. At some point during my speech, there will be QR codes that pull up. And I know you have your phones on you. I know you've been scrolling through Instagram because you got kind of bored. So take out your phone. And if you're interested in either one of these organizations, you can go ahead and scan the QR codes. Um, Freshman Council and Senate have been really unique to, you've heard it from Zeke and Ashley, and then from me as well. The three branches of CUSG all come together to enact real change on Clemson's campus. Members of CUSG are charged with the responsibility to create change that the student body desires. It is a student's chance to work with the amazing administrators sitting next to me today. The four years you have here will fly by, and when it's all said and done, the things you will remember probably won't include sitting in your dorm room studying. You will remember having Bachelor Mondays with all the girls in Manning, 
jumping in the reflection pond at 2 a.m. and hoping BT Potter makes the 52-yard field goal against LSU and the Natty. This is a time, yeah, woo, go, I can't believe he made it, to be honest, but this is a time full of new beginnings and a whole new chapter of life. The class of 2025 gets to begin their college experience as it should be, on an active campus full of Clemson's age-old traditions. After a time of missing out in high school, y'all have the chance to pull an all-nighter in Cooper Library, sing the alma mater on the hill after the Tigers win a game, and most importantly, find your Clemson family. Use this opportunity to make as memory, many memories as you can in the short time you have here. There truly is something in these hills. Go find it. Forever loyal and go Tigers. Now I would like to welcome to the stage my friend and your student body president, William Reiner. Well, hello fellow Tigers. My name is William Reiner and I have the privilege of serving each of you as your student body president. It is with great honor that I get to officially welcome you all to our university. And in doing so, I wanted to talk with you all about the moments that define your experience and the value of the seats in which you are sitting. There are many moments that will stand out for you over your time at Clemson and will forever be ingrained in your memory. Whether it's move in, your first football game, your first national championship, your ring ceremony, and before you know it, graduation. Sorry, I lost where I was. One second. <laughs> There we go. Um, many of these moments will be forever ingrained in your memory and will last a lifetime. However, to me, there is no moment that stands out more than the moment when you realize what makes Clemson, Clemson. It was at convocation three years ago, sitting in the seats that you are today, completely surrounded by strangers that I had this moment. It's the moment that you realize that this place and these people are unlike anything you've ever experienced. It's the moment that provokes a feeling you struggle to explain to anyone that didn't go to Clemson but all that did understand. It's the moment that you know that Clemson, no matter where you are and what you do, will always be your home. Some of you may have had this moment on your tour, which guides your decision to come to Clemson. Some of you may have had this moment when you moved in and officially became a part of a new family, the Clemson family. And some of you may not have had this moment yet, but I promise in due time, you will. And in realizing the value that Clemson will one day hold in your hearts, it's important to understand the value that each of you hold to Clemson. Tigers have achieved immeasurable success from being awarded Congressional Medal of, Medals of Honor to being elected the first governor of South Carolina to simply being great mo fathers, mothers, and fans. You all are in great company of past Tigers who were once in your shoes but remain in prestigious company with those in the auditorium today. As you look around the stadium, each person to your left and to your right understands the work that each of you put in to occupy the seat in which you do and wants to see nothing more than to see you succeed and prosper. This university and its people will challenge you to be the best version of yourself every day because at Clemson, best truly is the standard. I, along with every single person on the stage, knows that you will not only meet that standard, but you will exceed it. We know this because you are Clemson Tigers. And Clemson Tigers are difference makers, world changers, pioneers in their field that don't back down from any challenge, whose mighty roar echoes not only over the mountain height, but across our country and across the world whose pride and spirit that defines our university reign, remains unsurpassed, whose legacy remains unmatched. You are the next generation of Clemson Tigers, and our legacy is now your legacy. Commit your time ensuring that this place, our place, not only withstands that pride, spirit, and legacy, but heightens it. As Clemson continuously grows into its own world-renowned brand, it's up to us, the students, to di directly display and represent its success. Clemson will give you all the tools, but it's up to you to pick them up and get to work. Your Clemson experience begins now, and I cannot be more thankful to welcome you all a part of our Clemson family. As always, go Tigers, and thank you all so much. I'd like to take just a moment to thank our presenters. Before we bring our next speaker on stage, I'm gonna dismiss them, but please help me in thanking them for being here with us this morning.
This next set of guests you may recognize as you've been interacting with them all summer. They are some of our premier student leaders on campus and a group that simply could not wait to have you all on campus with us in person. It is my privilege to introduce to you your 2021 Orientation Ambassadors. Tigers. My name is Reese Bostic. I am a junior elementary education major from Aiken, South Carolina. And my word of advice is walking on campus is like driving in the left lane. So please walk fast. Hi, Tigers. My name is Meg. I'm a junior math major from Somerville, South Carolina. And my word of advice is don't be afraid to be adventurous with your major. I switched mine twice and Clemson is there to provide you with the resources you need to succeed and find your passions. Good morning, Tigers. My name is Dee Renee. I'm a political science major from Bridgeport, Connecticut, and I'm also a junior. Um, and my word of advice is don't be afraid to branch out. You're part of the Clemson family now, so make friends. Good morning, Tigers. My name is Austin Farkas. I'm a senior health science major from Travelers Rest, South Carolina, and my word of advice is if you don't wing it, you'll never fly. I'm also one of the Welcome Week leaders, so I'm group number 129. So if you're my group, we're going to meet down here after we dismiss, OK? Hey y'all, my name is Emma Shank. I'm a junior secondary education and English major from Cincinnati, Ohio. And my word of advice for y'all is they don't put degrees in smooth hands. You gotta go earn it. Good morning, Tigers. My name is Ann Lyons. I'm a junior psychology major from Piedmont, South Carolina. And my word of advice is if you hear about free food on the other side of campus, walk to the other side of campus. I'm also a welcome leader. I have groups 99 and 103, so we're gonna meet on the floor after you're dismissed. Hello, Tigers. My name is Lauren Green. I am a senior psychology major from Simpsonville, South Carolina. And my word of advice is to go to Schleder Dining Hall on Chicken Tender Tuesday. Hi, Tigers. It's so nice to finally see all of you. My name is Amber Oakley. I'm a junior mechanical engineering major from Chapin, South Carolina. Uh, my word of advice is to put your classes in your phone calendar because some of them start at like five minute later times on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I miss them frequently. So best word of advice. Um, I'm also a Welcome Week leader, and I am group 15, so you can meet me down here after the show. Happy Friday, Tigers. My name is Abby Kibler. I'm a junior accounting major from Chapin, South Carolina. And my word of advice is at Clemson, we have a tradition called Solid Orange Friday. So make sure you show out and wear orange on Fridays. Hey, Tigers. My name is Anna. I am a sophomore special education major from Ellicott City, Maryland. And my word of advice to you is don't spend all of your PowerPoints during the first month of the semester like I did both semesters. Um, I am also a Welcome Week leader. I am taking groups number one, group 149, and group eight. So just look for the signs on the floor after you're dismissed. Hey y'all, my name's Naomi Horner and I'm a sophomore language and international health major from Chapin, South Carolina. My word of advice is don't be afraid to go to the dining halls or events alone. No one's gonna judge you and you're gonna meet some cool people. Hi everyone, my name is Alejandro Mejia Tejada. I am a junior secondary education and mathematical sciences major from Greenville, South Carolina. And my word of advice is just get involved, y'all. There are over 500 organizations on Clemson's campus. Everyone is bound to find their Clemson family. I'm also a welcome leader, so I'm groups 19 and 23. So after this is over, just meet me down on the floor. Hey Tigers, my name's Caroline Morales and I'm a senior secondary education and English major from Charlottesville, Virginia. And remember, office hours are like Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on your finals grade. 
Hello, hello. My name is Fallon Skates. I'm from Shawneetown, Illinois, and I am a junior management major. Um, my word of advice is when in doubt, walk it out. I am also a welcome week leader, so groups 53 and 61 down on the floor after this. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Kaylin Rico Espinoza. I am a junior biological sciences major from Taylor, South Carolina. And my word of advice is that in college, you either run the day or the day runs you. Let's get to work. Hey, Tigers. My name is Taylor Spires, and I'm a sophomore bioengineering major from Lexington, South Carolina. My word of advice to you is to take the class, join the club, and just have fun, because it's going to be a wild ride. Good morning, fellow Tigers. My name is Reagan Zug, and I am a junior environmental and natural resources major from Anderson, South Carolina. And my word of advice is if you happen to get lost on campus, have Google Maps ready to go. Let's hear it one more time for the orientation ambassadors. All right. Okay, OAs, we'll dismiss you back. Thank you all so much. So our orientation ambassadors are one of two student leaders who you've either already or will meet today. Um, the, the other set of leaders, as it was alluded to, are welcome leaders. Could I have our welcome leaders stand up for just a minute? So you all will be assigned a welcome leader. These are upper class students who have volunteered to come back early, to be trained, and to volunteer their time to lead you through Welcome Week. So as you interact with your welcome leader, I would encourage you uh, to, first of all, tell them thank you for giving up of their time. They, they wanted to get to know you and help you get connected. Ask them questions, because they've been here, they know what they're doing, and we hope you enjoy getting to know them just a little bit. As we finish getting ready for our next presenter, um, a couple of housekeeping items, real quick. We've given you all, or hopefully all of you have gotten by now, a name tag and a lanyard. We would just ask you while you're doing orientation activities over the next three days to wear that so that we know who you are and it's easy uh, to find you and know where you're supposed to be going based on your group number. And then it's also a little bit easier for those around you to get to know you. They can see your name uh, right there. Um, and, and so. We hope that you would keep that on while you're here during orientation today, tomorrow, um, and during Clemson Leader Day on Sunday. We have uh, three more speakers, and then I'm going to go over briefly the Welcome Week schedule, hit some highlights so that you know what to expect and you know where you're supposed to be and you know what is supposed to be happening. We hope that you enjoy this time. I would like to go ahead and introduce our next speaker who's the director of our Academic Success Center, the ASC. Her name is Dr. Sue Horton. Please help me welcome Dr. Horton to the stage. Good morning, New Tigers. How are you? Awesome. I am so excited to talk to you a couple minutes about the ASC and about C1000. And I want you to think about what President Clement said a few minutes ago about the visualization of walking across this stage in four years. We are here to help you support and realize and achieve that goal of graduation. So we want to be partners with you for success at Clemson. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. <laughs> OK, so how can the ASC benefit you? Again, we want to be your partner. And there's three things I want you to think about. 
All of you are new to Clemson University and all of you are new to the learning experience at Clemson University. So we want to help you learn how to learn Clemson University style and help you achieve your goal of graduation and to succeed in your classes. We want to help you sharpen your skills. We want to help you be the best that you can be and reach your fullest potential. Okay, we all know who Trevor Lawrence is. We all know who DJ Uangalele is. They're at the top of their game. They're at their best. But they still have coaches and staff members who help them take it to the next level. They're really good at what they do, but they're always seeking to be excellent and to be at the top of their game. We want to help you be excellent and at the top of your game too. Okay? And we want to help you become a more confident, independent learner. When you go to take the test, it's going to be you taking the test. So we want to help you build those skill sets, build that mindset so you can be successful. And we want to help you earn the highest grades that you can earn. Lots of you are concerned about making great grades. And I'll share with you that over two-thirds of the students that use the ASC services, they have a 3.0 or higher. 3.0 or higher means you're going to keep your scholarships, you're going to keep your financial aid. Good things happen when you're successful in the classroom. So I want to tell you a little bit about what students tell us about using the ASC. So you can see the numbers are all in the 90s here. They feel more confident after using the ASC. They feel an increased commitment to achieving their goals. They tell us that they personally benefited from using an ASC service. I want you to think about using the ASC services, and then I want you to think about working for us at the ASC. We have over 200 student employees at the ASC. We know that students helping students and working with students is very powerful. Okay, we're good. I just got the thumbs up. You all can rest easy. We're good back there. Okay. Um, okay, so here's what students tell us about working at the ASC. They personally benefited from being employed at the ASC, and they recommend being a peer leader to their friends. So great things, success happens at the center. Success happens at the center. Next slide, please. Okay, so what will your experience be at the ASC? If you come and utilize our services, you're gonna find friendly, supportive, caring, helpful folks who wanna help you achieve your goals and your full potential. Here's a little bit about some of our services, and I'm not going to talk about them in depth because you can go on our website and check them out. We have peer learning support programs for your courses, and we have them in collaborative group study sessions, and we have one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well. We have academic coaching, so you can sit down with a trained academic professional coach and talk about what's most important to you what your goals are, what your dreams are, what does success mean to you? We can help you with that through coaching. We have success strategy workshops. So you can come to a 30 to 45 minute workshop on reading and become a more effective reader. Or if you get a little nervous before taking tests, we have taming your test nerves workshops. All kinds of different workshops designed to help you be successful. We also have some self-guided success worksheets. So if you go on our website, there's a bunch of worksheets that you can complete and reflect on and think about yourself to help you with things like time management and avoiding procrastination. So all kinds of resources available um, through our center. So how can you ignite your success at Clemson? I want to recommend, if you're not already, already registered, come to one of our Jumpstart workshops next Tuesday. And you can sign up for those on the ASC website, clemson.edu backslash ASC. 
and they're facilitated by professors here at Clemson and ASC staff members, again, who want to help you with the keys to success here at Clemson. Okay, so check those workshops out. If you go to a Jumpstart workshop, you're going to get a voucher for a free t-shirt. So there's a great prize for coming to the workshop too. Okay, second tip for success. I want each and every one of you to get organized for next week. Okay, I want you to take a look and read, actually read the syllabus for your, each of your classes. And Josh, if you could click on that um, link for us, I want to give you an example of one of our self-guided worksheets that you can take a few minutes to fill out. Okay, it's called the rules of the game and it lets you fill out for each of your classes things like the professor's name, their contact information, when tests are, when projects are due, and you have a nice little two-pager right there that you can look at and get that overview of all of your classes. Rules of the game. I want each one of you to go to clemson.edu backslash ASC, find that rules of the game worksheet and fill it out and get organized. Next slide, please. Okay, here's our contact information. We got a QR code that will take you right to the ASC website. Pull out your phones right now. I want you to go to Instagram and I want you to go to CU Academic Success Center and I want you to like our latest post because we have a prize for a student who likes us. We're going to do a random drawing and you're going to hear next week if you won. But I want you all to go to CU Academic Success Center on Instagram right now and give us a big like. I want to see thousands of likes on our Instagram page. Okay? Again, check out the QR code that will take you right to clemson.edu backslash ASC. One thing I want to mention, um, if any of you are in the situation where you contract COVID or you're, uh, you have known exposure, we're going to have resources and tips and strategies if you miss class for how you can keep up in your class. You can check that out on our website as well. Okay, next slide please. Okay, I want to switch gears a little bit. Every one of you in this room as a new student needs to take CU 1000 this semester. And if you're not in it, I'm going to put you in it. And if you drop it, I'm going to put you back in it. Okay, so everybody needs to take CU 1000. And basically what CU 1000 is, is an extended orientation. We want to continue to share information with you that we think will help you make a successful transition to Clemson. So you can see on there eight images. One is getting started, like about the course. One is about Tiger success, like how to be successful as a student here. Aspire to be well is about how you can, you can look out for yourself and look out for each other in terms of well-being. Academic advising, what you need to know about advising. Belonging and, belonging and community. Each one of us wants to feel like we're an important and valued member of the Clemson community. And in that session, we're also going to talk to you about Clemson's core values of honesty, integrity, and respect. We want you to know about why we have general education. We have an information security awareness so that you know how to be safe in the online environment. And we want you to know more about the library and how the library can partner with you. Next slide, please. So how can CU 1000 benefit you? It's an overview. It's really designed to help you become more knowledgeable about success and involvement and engagement resources at Clemson. Okay, and it also will introduce you to our community standards and values here at Clemson. It's important for you to know these things so that, again, you can flourish and thrive at Clemson. Next slide. Okay, so right now, what do you need to know about C1000? It's an asynchronous online course. That means you can complete it at your own pace. There'll be two live sessions that you're gonna need to go to, the community dialogue and aspire to be well, but everything else you can complete at your own pace. The syllabus and course content can be found in Canvas where the rest of your classes are gonna be, you're gonna be able to find them. We're going to open the course at 8 o'clock on Wednesday, August 18th, the first day of school, 
of the fall semester. And I want to tell you that on, you're going to receive an announcement about this. If you would like to attend an intro online session to learn more about CE 1000, we will be hosting synchronous live sessions on Zoom. They'll be about 15, 20 minutes so that you can un get a full understanding of the course. And there'll be sessions on Wednesday and Thursday. It is not mandatory that you go, but it's highly recommended because we will be providing you uh, more detailed information about C1000 to be able to answer questions that you might have. And it's your job to be informed and to know about what's expected and required. This is our way of trying to support you and help you at the very beginning to make sure you know what you need to do. I want to wish all of you the greatest of success and joy and happiness at Clemson. And just know, again, that we're here to support you. We want to partner with you. We want to help you make A's in your classes instead of B's. We want to help you keep your scholarships. We want you to flourish at Clemson. Thanks so much for your attention today, everybody. Excellent. Thank you so much, Dr. Horton. We appreciate you being here with us today. All right. So we get our slides transitioned over. Next up, we have Chief Greg Mullen, who is the Associate Vice President for Public Safety and Chief of Police. Chief Mullen. Good morning. What a week, right? Move in, lots of festivals, activities. Heard from the president and the provost this morning. It's been a, been, a, been a great week and it's just the beginning. And I hope what you've heard from all the people that you've been engaged with so far is that we're here to make sure you're successful. And you're entering into a new era in your life. Uh, and we're gonna treat you like adults. And what I want to do this morning is take about 10 or 15 minutes and just talk to you about how you can help me and the members of our public safety group, which is combined of police, fire, emergency management, and physical security, how you can work with us to co-produce a safe and secure campus environment, which allows you to achieve the things that you came to Clemson for, which is to have an academic experience so that you learn and improve the knowledge that you have. You have social networking, collaboration, and then finally you grow and develop as a leader, which is what Clemson produces. We produce leaders. But you need to understand how we can work together to make that environment that you're going to enjoy and live in a safe and secure and healthy environment because without that, Many of those things that you want to do from an academic standpoint, social standpoint, or a growth and development standpoint can't happen to its full potential. So I want to give you a little information this morning and I want to ask you to help me do a few things. So first of all, I want to tell you about some things that we have on campus that help keep you safe and secure. Uh, obviously we have a, a nationally accredited law enforcement agency which means that we follow national standards. We are audited every year, and we are assessed every three years to make sure that we're doing things that are the right way to do things. Because we want to make sure that we are providing you the best possible service that you deserve and that we want to provide to you. Fire and emergency medical services are on Clemson. They're our personnel. They don't uh, report to anybody else except for uh, our staff. So they give you immediate response, great training, great equipment. Again, all about making sure that you're successful. Emergency management, we plan a lot of different events, special events, weather situations, any kind of disruptions on campus. And then we have a physical security section that I want to spend just a few minutes to tell you about because it's really important for you. So we now have, uh, in the last couple of years, we have a, a staff of security specialists that monitor about 3,000 video views across campus. Uh, and we do that to keep the campus, to keep you, to keep your property safe. 
That allows us to be proactive. It allows us to see things that might be developing that could become a, a, a horrific or a very dangerous situation and get police, fire, or other resources there very quickly. So that's important for you to understand that somebody is monitoring that system for your protection. They're monitoring that system to make sure that your property doesn't get stolen, your bikes, mopeds. While it still may happen, it gives us a really good opportunity to catch the people that are doing it and stop it. Uh, access control, we monitor that. Hopefully all of you have your Tiger One card or either you've downloaded the mobile app. Uh, that's what you're gonna need to get into residential halls, academic buildings. They may be open now because of the move-in process, but once we move into the regular uh, academic semester, those facilities will be locked. And if you're not testing like you're supposed to, you're gonna lose your access to those buildings. So please make sure that you follow all those testing requirements. So those are things that are in place to help protect you uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, but what I really want to talk to you about a little bit is, and hopefully uh, make a connection with you in terms of helping me help you. Uh, I want to talk to you about self-care and care for others. So you're going to have a lot of opportunities to enjoy yourself here. A lot of parties, a lot of clubs, a lot of organizations, a lot of downtown time. We know that. But what I want you to understand is when you're doing those things, it's really important that you be responsible because binge drinking, overconsumption, it just causes risk that you don't want to be uh, involved in. It causes decisions to be made that can have lifelong impact. So I'm not going to stand here and lecture you to not drink because I know that some of you are going to drink and some of you are going to overdrink. And that's when there's a possibility for you and the police officers or the emergency medical technicians to have an interaction. And I just want you to understand that when we have those interactions with you, in many cases, it's to protect you from injuring yourself or somebody else. If we have an encounter with you on campus and you're underage and you have alcohol and we provide you with a citation, that's not to be punishing you, or it's not to be, uh, you know, hard on you is for us to be preventive and proactive because we have seen what can happen uh, very easily if people get themselves in a situation where they have overconsumed, taken some sort of a drug that they didn't know what it was. And it's really important for you to understand that the drugs that are in this community and communities around the country are much different than what they have been in the past. Uh, we have very little problem with people using illicit drugs that are street drugs, if you will. But what we're seeing now is people are actually creating and manufacturing uh, what look like pharmaceuticals, but they're laced with fentanyl. So overdoses are very prevalent in this area, not on the campus, thankfully, but I want you to be warned about that because somebody offers you a blue pill that's got Xanax stamped in it, it may not be a Xanax, it might be a fentanyl. So don't take pills from people that you don't know or you haven't gotten from a doctor or a pharmacy. Hopefully we have a lot of smart people and we're not going to do that, but it's always important to be informed. From a perspective of caring for others, you all have a responsibility to look out for the people that are on your right and on your left and your front and behind, your friends. And what we ask you to be is bystanders, active bystanders. If you see somebody about to do something that's going to injure themselves or make a bad decision, don't just watch that happen. Don't step in and put yourself in a situation where you might get injured or your safety's compromised, but call the police, call your RA, call somebody that can help that person. Don't just stand by and watch, because so often that's what we see, is that we talk to people after bad events, and they say, well, we saw that, but we didn't want to get involved. Don't watch bad things happen. And then the final thing I want to talk to you about is uh, responsibility and freedom, two really important values to you, because you're being given a lot of freedom right now. First time for a lot of you away from your parents for any extended length of time, uh, you're, you're really on your own. We're going to expect a lot from you in terms of making your classes, doing all the things that you're supposed to, and that's, that, that freedom 
that you have now has a lot of responsibility with it as well. So what we try to do is make sure that we give you that freedom, but we also make sure that you follow the rules and you follow the law. We work very closely with the Office of Conduct and Ethical Standards. So if you do encounter a police officer and you are um, provided a citation, or in some cases, you may be put in custody again to protect you from yourself. Uh, we're going to work with the Office of Conduct and Ethical Standards. We're going to work with the courts. We have a lot of pretrial intervention and diversion. We're not about punishing. We're about learning. If you make a mistake, we want you to learn from that mistake and not let it impact you for a long term. So what I want you to do and what I want to ask of you is as you're here at Clemson, as you're learning, growing, developing as young adults and leaders, and you're enjoying those social networks and all those parties and all those activities that you're going to be a part of, that you also remember that you have a responsibility to be part of that co-producer of safety, security, and health. So enjoy your time, become great leaders, get ready to change the world, but let's do it in a way that we're all safe, we're all secure, we're all healthy, and that we don't have anybody in this class that has a life-altering incident while they're here at Clemson. Because I can promise you that me and my staff, we have a very simple purpose that's to enhance safety, reduce risk, and prevent harm. Because we do that to help Clemson reach its goal of educating young people so that you can change South Carolina, you can change the nation, and you can change the world in the future. So thank you, and let's work together to make that happen. Have a great day. All right, a huge thank you to our speakers who've been able to be with us today. We do have a couple of announcements. You can clap if you want, it's fine. They were great. Just a few announcements. If any of you have not been able to pick up your name tag or materials, we are organizing those and welcome leaders. We're gonna ask that on your way out, you find a member of exec and we will give you the rest of the name tags for those in your group. So if you haven't checked in yet with us or gotten your materials, we will get them to you. We don't want that to delay the transition from here to your next spot as you're gonna to go to meet with your welcome leaders here in just a few minutes. But before we do that, I did want to go over very briefly our welcome week schedule. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is if you haven't already, if you go to the App Store or um, no matter what you use, you should be able to find the CU Events app. On that app, if you were to download it, you can search for Welcome Week 2021. We've put together a digital guide on there for you to access. Now, the reason it's important and why we're pointing you to this app to use for this schedule is because if there are any changes, for example, there's been weather uh, the last few days and we've had to pivot and move locations for our movie nights, for example. We can send notifications and update this live and push something out to you to notify you, to let you know of those changes. So it's really important in case something does change, we have some really great stuff for you this week as entering your first years. We want to make sure you're well informed, so please download that app and search for the Welcome Week 2021 guide and download it to have on there. You can also go through the schedule and choose what you'd like to attend and build a personal schedule for yourself and follow that. If you have any questions, your welcome leaders will know more. Okay, real quick, tonight, there are a couple things I want to point out to you. This could be the first time we have the entire freshman class together tonight at what's called Tiger Traditions, put on by Central Spirit, one of our student organizations on campus. They're going to teach you several of the traditions we have here at Clemson. They're going to have $2 bills that you can trade in um, and, and get if you'd like to, and there's some tradition behind that. They're going to teach you what to do at the football games, what it means when you hear certain things around campus. So we invite you to come out to that. There are free samples from our 55 Exchange ice cream uh, shop on campus. Uh, it should be a lot of fun and a great event. We are showing, because it's Friday the 13th, A Quiet Place Part 2, and that will be uh, a lot of fun. Please check the app to make sure you know where you're going to 
come to these events. Many of you have already been to our underground union space where there's bowling and, and a lot of our recreational games there. That is all free through this weekend. That's why I invite you out. And then later tonight, we have what's called Chill Out. Um, we're going to give away some free coffee samplers, some music, and have some activities there. Tomorrow is day two of new student orientation. So if you're in group A, you're going to be here again. We'd invite you to show up a little earlier. You all look great. It just took us a little time to get you all in the door. We're going to start at 9 a.m. tomorrow. We're going to have a few speakers and a few things for you to do. And we're going to follow a very similar rotation to what we're doing today. So tomorrow, you're going to know exactly where to be and exactly what to do. But there are a couple things I want to point out for tomorrow. Um, along with being here, Little John, and doing your small group meeting, we have my favorite event of the entire Welcome Week. Again, the entire freshman class is going to be together. It's called the Welcome Rally. Our welcome leaders are going to come around with megaphones to the residence halls, the orientation ambassadors, your resident assistants in the halls are in on this. They're literally going to push you out of the halls so that you can collect and come across campus together down to the Fike Recreation Center intramural fields. And the entire freshman class will be there. We have a lot of activities for you down there at the Welcome Rally. It is one of the coolest events to see your entire class together moving across campus. And then finally, tomorrow night is Moonlight Breakfast. We're going to have some pastries and muffins for you to finish off the night before you uh, go back to your residence halls. Sunday is something called Clemson Leader Day. This is a great kind of uh, wrap up to your three-day new student orientation experience where we talk about in a little more depth how to get involved on campus, but what it means to be a leader while you're here and beyond Clemson. I think you're going to get a lot out of that. Our welcome leaders are particularly excited to lead you um, on that day. And we do have an activity for any students who are coming from out of state Welcome to the Palmetto State is specifically for you. We'd invite you to join us in the Hendricks Student Center to properly acquaint you to South Carolina. Monday the 16th, we have our largest student organization fair called, called Tiger Prowl. We're going to have over 300 organizations there with a table ready to tell you about what they do, how you can join, and how to get involved. That is another one of my favorites. I highly, highly encourage you to come out to Tiger Prowl to experience what all there is to do here while you're at Clemson. We do have a fair at the library to get to know Cooper Library, a place you may spend some time over the next four years. We invite you to come out. We do have librarians and staff who will be there to show you exactly what to do and where to go. And then finally, Clemson, welcome back. That is where we're going to push you to downtown Clemson. Many of the businesses down there are going to officially welcome you back to uh, the city of Clemson officially on Monday. And then finally, Tuesday, we wrap it up with some of our large traditions. First of all, we have what we call the athletic event and t-shirt distribution. We're going to have all of the head coaches from our athletics, including Dabo Sweeney, will be here in this room to, yeah, we're excited. All of the head coaches from all of our athletics will be here to speak to you. And it's a lot of fun. The band is here, and they teach you how to do the tiger rag and different things to get you prepared for the athletic year. On the way out of that event, they're going to hand you a t-shirt because we're going to go over to Memorial Stadium, Death Valley, get you on the field, and take a class photo together. Okay, there may be some weather on that day. Right now, it, it doesn't look good for the forecast to get that picture taken. If that is the case, we're still going to give you the t-shirt and we'll communicate a makeup day because we are still going to get you on the field to get that picture. So we will let you know what that is. But then right after that picture, you're going to come back here to Little John, and you're going to have a president's cookout with President Clements, who you just met a little while ago. He's going to be here. We're going to have food for everybody, and it's going to be a lot of fun uh, to wrap up Welcome Week. And then, of course, Wednesday is the first day of classes. Back by popular demand, we have Gloga, Yoga at Night. Coke is a sponsor. The first 500 people to show up get a free yoga mat. We've got a lot of giveaways that evening. It's in the same place as the Welcome Rally. Um, that event is a lot of fun as well. And then if this is really your first time on campus, we're going to have staff all around campus on your first day. I need help finding Bracket Hall. I need to get to class. Okay, we're here to help you. So those Ask Me tables are a chance for you to, to walk around and figure out where you're going on campus. All right. So at this time, what we're going to do is if we can once more have our welcome leader stand... They are each going to have signs with a number corresponding to your group number that's on your name tag. What we'd encourage you to do in just a minute 
is to find your welcome leader and they're gonna guide you to your small group locations. These locations will be where you are for the remainder of the weekend. I wanna thank you all for being here. And as always, go Tigers.